Lauren Frey and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Here I am with some uh, good old DK64. I uh, I don't remember exactly where we were. Let's see, what file was it? I'm gonna guess it was file one, but I could be wrong on that. Yeah, it was file one. Yeah, I've been playing this game. Um, this is an old favorite of mine and one that I like a lot. Let's see. Yeah, I had to move my couch up because I'm so used to having wireless controllers. God, let's see. Yeah, where was I? I was on stage four, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to look at a guide for this because there's so much shit here. Ready Factory, Gloomy Galleon. Okay. I believe it is. Blue Galleon. I need to get my phone. Why do I not have my phone on me? Alright. <sighs> Boom. Maybe I should move the camera. It just seems the angle is kind of off. It's been a while since I played this. This is absolutely one of my favorite N64 games, and I don't. It's so weird to see people, like, rag on this game. I saw people, like, complaining about it today. What I was playing last night was, uh, a bunch of PS2 games. And that's actually what I would have played today if I could get my PS3 up ready to stream. Now, I think what I can do is set my PS2 up and stream that. But I actually don't know where my PS2 is. Um, I might do that next time I, like get fired up about playing Sly Cooper. I think this time I'm gonna I'm gonna do it off stream, but uh, you know, give the PS3 one last whirl. But I, I think eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna try bring the PS2 out and see if like this uh, using the SD cords I can stream that instead. I, I don't understand why the PS3 does not stream properly. Alright, what do I need? Yeah, okay, I got all of Okay. Okay, so I have one Diddy Kong. Good job. Yeah, it... If I have an issue with any 3D rare platformer, it's probably Banjo 2 E, and that's probably because that's the one I haven't really played all that much of. I, uh, every time I play one, I keep going back to, uh, it's like the DKC3 of, of rare platformers. It's, it's not bad at all, but I just... <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. Let's see, Donkey Kong 64, Gloomy Galleon, Bananas. Yeah, I think what I wanted to do today was round up the last of the Golden Bananas. Diddy Kong. Funky Store, maybe? Okay, hang on, let's... Where is Funky Store? <laughs> that sounds right, but I don't want to... I don't want to make any assumptions. It's so difficult to keep track of, like, what bananas you've gotten. It really is really obnoxious. I... You cannot keep track of everything in this game. And because I ha I've played through it so many times, like, a lot of these playthroughs tend to blend together, so you're kind of just like, wait a minute, what, what did I do? <laughs> like, you have a general idea because of how the, uh, the map is laid out, but for the most part, uh, you're kind of on your own. I think it's a little bit too loud. <laughs> Cheap fucking Chinese remote. I... It worked, like, for the, for, like, the first time I used it, like, immediately. I, I, 
I am never buying a Chinese product ever again. <laughs> like, I know... I know that, uh... This guy's running around in, like, chest deep water. There we go. Okay. Yeah, where is Funky's thing? Try the other side. I don't. Hmm. As a kid, I spent a lot more time in like the, the light side because it's so much more fun to like go around with on guard there. But hmm, I'm curious if. Hmm. There's only so many places you could be, right? Oh, wait, isn't he back here? This is a very different game than Donkey Kong Country. I Donkey Kong. Okay, this is this is cranky. Oh, okay. This is a very different game than Donkey Kong Country. Like it's so much more slow paced and it's so much more exploration focused. But I think it really works. I really wonder if like the complaints toward this game are just mostly due to the change in direction and just how the game plays. I don't know. It's not really a platformer. It's a, it's a collectathon. Mario 64 I think did a way better job like blending the two. Okay, so he has to be on the light side, right? Yeah, there's something in here. Yeah, this was a huge game. I I don't think there's a single 3D collection uh, collectathon on any platform. <laughs> that has like a map like as big as this like maybe I don't think Mar until Mario, Mario Odyssey we got something that even came close and in Mario Odyssey's case it's more uh, bloated than huge you know like everything is condensed in like a relatively small area uh, let's see here Odyssey feels a lot smaller than it actually is. But, uh, <laughs> is this stream okay? It says that the sound is on, but I don't know. Let's see. I have to like make changes every time I go from. Yeah, it's fine. I keep seeing like the uh, the viewer numbers go up and then go back down immediately, so I don't I don't know what the deal with that is. I imagine DK64 isn't popular for streams. Um, I don't know. It's it's a game I really like though. He's over here, right? I have a vague recollection of him being over here. No, oh, it's Candy Kong. Shit, I keep getting him mixed up with every other Kong in the in the game. Like, okay, where in the world is he then? Uh, I 
love the DKC expansion pack. Okay. I love this game, but... I love this game. There he is. Okay. Oh, there's no way I haven't done this already. There's no way. 100% no way, but I, I guess I'm gonna have to check anyway. Uh, so... How do you lower the water level? Is it. Shit. How do you lower the water level? Is it that switch in the lighthouse, or. How, how does that work? This is why I didn't want to shin the game, because <laughs> I'm just like, I spend so much time trying to figure out what I'm, do I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, okay, so... I mean, it's all fun. It's it's not like, that's not the problem, but for streams, I like things to be like, relatively straightforward. And this is just not, ugh. What is my next game going to be? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm not even sure what, like, adjusting the water level does, really. But you have to get the swordfish. Well, you have to get Lanky Kong. You have to get the swordfish. And then you have to hit the switch. It's like... Wait, oh, I thought that was it. It's in like a hole somewhere, right? I can't spin the camera around. Ah, oh, there's nothing here. Me. I was gonna stream like Mario Party 2. Fuck. I'm so like. Ugh. I'm so out of it. I have so many things I want to stream at any given time. I completely forget about certain things. I just like decided like spur of the moment that I was gonna stream in 64. I wasn't sure what I was gonna play even. I was gonna play like uh, Castlevania actually, but I don't know. I've had that game forever and I still have not played it. Which is really interesting considering its um, reputation. Because I was not aware just how like ev how unpopular that game actually is. And I really wonder if that game is a victim of like early 90s style like pretendo propaganda. Because I, I played a little bit of it. Like the first area. And I didn't think it was that bad. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong on that. But that's the impression I get. Like, I've seen the people, like, who complain about Castlevania 64 complain about, like, uh, 4 as well. So, I don't know. I think they're just hardcore purist NES game fans. I, I don't know. It's just... It, it just doesn't strike me. Okay. Yeah, I probably won't stream for very long. I uh, I only streamed today because I had the night off, and I thought that, like, uh, people might want to watch me stream. I don't know. Because of the, uh, okay, two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already gotten that, but we are going to check. Because I can't think of what else I'm missing. I have the... 
I have Snide's thing. I have everything else, right? So. It's so dark. I, I would like to raise the brightness on my uh, TV, but... I think legit the stream is like brighter than my screen. Oh, here we go. I might just watch the uh, the computer screen. There we go. Oh, what? Okay, that's promising. So did I really not get this? That is curious. Okay, that is promising. It's Glimmer from Donkey Kong Country 2, by the way. I think it is actually. No, it's not. It's might be a different kind of fish. Oh, that is surprising. This is the one I missed. Really? Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, these mini games are just ridiculous. It's like they saw that. The, uh, the underwater thing in Mario 64, and they decided that, like, oh, let's make an entire game around that. And there's so many, like, ridiculous minigames they came up with. So much used, so used to how that one works. Damn! It always takes a little bit of practice. Welcome to bonus stage. I don't think there's a reason to not get the. I knew it was up there. But... Oh, hang on, do you have to get the others first? different Kongs who all swim in like five different ways. Like it's just ugh. And it's one of the things I like about the game though is that you have so many playable characters. Okay. Yes, got him. Ooh, banana. Is 152. So I have Lanky. I can see there's another one on here. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Lanky is the other one I need. Uh, wow. I haven't even gotten all the banana medals yet. I'll be fair. I haven't gotten the golden bananas. I think the order to go in is like golden bananas, medals, and and then just the ordinary bananas. I think I, I don't know. There's so many things to collect in this game. Uh, I mean, it's kind of what makes it fun, because there's so many things you don't really necessarily register right away. Like, for the longest time, I didn't know what the Nintendo at Rareware coins did. Rare had such a talent for... For making like hiding crazy secrets in their games, like these are the guys behind Stop and Swap and and uh, <laughs> DKC 2's Lost World. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think what happened is that I just didn't lower these. 
I didn't lower the tide and get this open. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think after this, uh, I just have chunkies, and I should be good. Uh, I'll be able to move on to stage five. Finally, wow. What stage five is that? The funky one? Aw, oh, hate that stage. That's actually the stage that filtered me when I was a kid. Uh, I, I got through the rest of the game okay. But, like, Funky Force. I didn't know Stage 6 and 7 existed for the longest time. To be fair, though, I, as I recall, like, that is... That area was brutal. The fuck? Okay. So it was just kind of sitting there. That's one of the things I definitely don't like about this game, is how many, like, bananas are just kind of super for us. It, it feels... It feels a lot like it's a, uh, Very Mario Odyssey-ish, I would say. With its design. Like, you just do a random task, and you get a boot, and you get something. Can't go in the fireplace. Okay. It'll be nice to finally move on, though. I... I'm really not a big fan of Gloomy Galleon. I think, uh... They made an underwater area and no breath mechanic. It's just like... Really? Ugh. Yeah, so I have everything else right. So I have... Yeah, Donkey. Yeah, Tiny. Yeah, yeah, Chunky's all we need. Okay. So we saw we saw an extra thing in there. So definitely, one of the things we need to do is have chunky. It has to be chunky. It can't be anyone else. How many bananas do we have? 140, 154. There are like two hundred and one in all, I believe. So uh, I've actually never gotten all of them. I think I got two hundred and didn't realize there's actually an extra one. So I like kind of. Did something wrong. Uh. Wait, hang on. Is this even here? Wait, hang on. Are there only four of them? But there are five on the... Okay, hang on. Okay. That's interesting. I assumed it was just kind of here with the rest of them, but... Okay. That's an interesting submerge. area Chucky can play his triangle. Okay, I think it's... <laughs> so we have to go a little bit further in this one. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably play this again. Like, I'll I'll stream this like 100% when, when it comes out in NSO. <laughs> But I don't know when that'll be. I, I expect we'll get Banjo Tooie first. Like, the way things are looking now, we're getting Goldeneye before we get this, which is kind of a shock. I I was not expecting that at all. Um, let's see here. Oh, do I have to raise the water level again? Ah. I hate that shit. Okay. And no wonder, yeah, no wonder I always have the water level raised, because there's no reason to lower it, really, unless you're doing that. And hopefully this is the last time. I, I would hate to have to do this again. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and I don't understand why you need to be lanky to become, like, a guard. It's such a weird requirement. Hang on, let's get this real quick. Oh, it's a coin. Yeah, at this point in the game, I have everything, so... Unfortunately, coins are worthless after a certain point, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, 
I really wanted to, to play Sly Cooper tonight. And I think I will after I end this game. It's just, I cannot, cannot get these PS3 emula- um, Did I say emulation? Slip of the tongue. I meant, like, streaming to work. Um, I, I just cannot stream my PS3. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. And it's so disappointing, because I have so many games on- So many, like, PS2 games on PS3 that I could, theoretically, like, show off. You know, stuff like, stuff I g genuinely enjoy, but it's just, uh, it's just not gonna happen. You know, Silent Hill 1's on there. You know, I have, like, the Suikoden games. I have, like, all this stuff that could be popular, that, that could, like, that I would want to talk about, but, yeah. It's just not gonna happen, uh, unfortunately. Is this game the horror of all collectathons? I, I just got done talking about that. I, no, I, I deeply, deeply do not think that. I think this game is a masterpiece, and I, I, um, I really think that the, the, the reputation this game has, it was like typical game journalists uh, downplaying Nintendo games. You know, like the 90s equivalent of what they're doing now with like ARMS and Octopath Traveler and Splatoon. Like this is, objectively speaking, a great game. Extremely cutting edge, like visually, design wise, sound, music, animations. Like, this is better than anything on a PS1, right? In its niche. But, like, game journalists can't have that. They have to, like, downplay these kind of games. So, like, uh, they create this narrative that, like, this game is so collect has so many collectibles that it just make, uh, ruined the entire genre. And then, like, you know, what happens after that? We get Banjo-Tooie, we get Super Mario Sunshine. You know, years later, we start getting, like, throwback titles. You know, like, Cat in Time, uh, Mario Odyssey, stuff like that. Like, this didn't kill the collectathon genre, right? Like, 3D platformers just kind of went in a different direction after this point. Um, you know, it beca they became more platform-heavy. So they became more, like, traditional platformers. Um... I, yeah, so where exactly is, where exactly is the triangle? What am I looking for? It said by the lighthouse, but I don't see shit. <coughs> Let's see, that's a DK thing. Yeah, it's a warp pad. Um, you can't go in the lighthouse, can you? Diddy switch. It's in the lighthouse area. Uh, that's what they said. The Super Console X. Yeah, I think Stuttering Craig was talking about. How, how does that work? I bought like a uh, an N64 multi card that I'm not entirely happy with. It uh, it's supposed to have a bunch of N64 games on it. And it does, but, like, they don't save, and just... It's good for what I wanted it for, uh, specifically playing a bunch of old games, uh, that aren't readily available, stuff like, uh, stuff like Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, actually, I should probably stream that tonight, actually. I, I've been meaning to play that again. Superman 64, uh, we could do that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like, um, I would really like... I don't know. I, I definitely need something that has, like, all the old PS1 games on it. I think that's, like, the big thing for me. All, all the old PS1 and PS2 games. Because I do want them. I want them, like, readily available on, like, a modern platform. Um, but I don't... I don't think... Hmm. Yeah, it's up by the lighthouse. What am I looking for? By the lighthouse... Does anybody use Steam Deck? Because I, every time I see it, it's always just people saying that like, oh, this runs on Steam Deck, this runs on Steam Deck, this this runs on Steam Deck. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting here thinking that like, well, what doesn't run on Steam Deck? Like, what are you not talking about? Because it feels like there's a massive el uh, elephant in the room when it comes to the Steam Deck <laughs> in that like, 
everyone is just talking about emulators all the time. It's not like a real piece of modern hardware. It's just purely uh, an emulation machine. I don't know. I was uh, I was considering getting one for that purpose, but hmm. here we go. Oops. I don't know. I would want to. Uh... Hmm. There we go. Shit. Where is it? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, yeah. Yeah, right Right now, the way things are looking, I think I'm just going to buy games on Steam and just, like, stream them on that. You know, I'm, I'm going to buy Vanquish again. I'm going to buy, like, Beyond Good and Evil again. I'm going to buy, like, Sonic Adventure again. Um, I just think that... Okay. Yeah, I, I want to... Uh... To stream some of these older games that I own, but like I just cannot get get it to work on my setup. Like even like streaming N sixty four was kind of a pain. Like it's a pain to set up. I, I don't like all the hoops I have to jump through. Oh here it is. Ah damn it! I have to lower the water. Fuck! I knew it. Okay. Damn it! I knew it was gonna happen. All because I didn't know exactly what I had to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll be glad when I get out of this area. This is kind of tedious. I think it's mostly because of the swimming. I don't know. I think the game's later areas really suffer from being way too bloated and there's, like, way too much shit. Like, I don't think I did anything in, like... I don't think in a typical playthrough I, I do anything in, in the Haunted Castle. Like, I just kind of beat the boss, get the key, and then just fuck off. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'll probably just buy it again. I, uh, I, I, think, I think Steam is probably, like, my go-to like, system for, for emulation or, or buying older games, I suppose. Um, like, Dreamcast, uh, you know, there are lots of Dreamcast games on there. Plenty of, like, 6th gen games. Um, I, I'm happy with that for now. Um, I don't know, there's lots of, like, fringe stuff I would want to play, though. Like, you know, has Power Stone been released ever? Like, it, it, it just it just feels like, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, for example. Wait, hang on. Oh, Did I fuck this up? Hang on. Did I not need to hit the switch? Hang on. I don't know. I have so many games anyway. I probably shouldn't be thinking about this, but it's like... Uh, I feel like a lot of my older stuff is becoming like... Uh, unviable for what I want to use it for. Like, uh, this N64, for example. Like, I love my N64, right? Um, but do I want to stream games on it? It's so tedious to set up. It's like, I would rather just, like, you know, play the games on Nintendo Switch Online. But not everything I want to stream is on NSO yet, so. So I'm like, I've been holding off on a lot for a while. Uh, on, on a lot of games, I'd, I'd like to Yeah, I think I think later tonight I'm gonna switch over to Switch and like play Mario Party 2. I completely forgot that I that I uh, I actually beat it last night, and I I now have to do the the mini game minecart. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. 
I, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It's like one of my favorite, like one of the most difficult things on N64, I feel like, is beating that on hard mode. Definitely the hardest thing in Mario Party 2. Uh, to be fair, though, like playing Mario Party 2 and again as an adult, I'm not sure why it was like an accomplishment to uh, to unlock Bowser Land. Because like, uh, I, I looked it up and apparently all you have to do is play through the game once. Uh, play through each course once and then you unlock it. What I think must have happened is that, like, I never played a full game of, like, Mystery Land or Horror Land. And so, like, I never actually unlocked them <laughs> until I was, like, older. I don't know. That was, like, the second game I ever got uh, on N64. So I suppose that, like, a lot of, like, the finer aspects I, I kind of overlook. I mean, I love that game a lot. I think, um, I think Mario Party 2. This, Mario Party 2, and, uh... Um, And Star Fox 64 are probably like my most played games on on uh, N64. I love those games. Uh, yeah, GOG has like Metal Gear Solid, which has been on my uh, the playlist for a while. I've, uh, I played Metal Gear Solid like a decade ago once, and I really liked it, but I never went back to it. Like, I feel like lately that I've, uh, I've kind of fallen off, like, the Metal Gear. <sighs> there are so many games that I love, but I feel like I haven't played as much as I probably should. And I think Metal Gear Solid 1 is probably one of them. Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 3 as well, but, like, in 3's case, like, I played that game to death when I, when I first got it. It's just that, like, it's been so long. I kind of, uh, it's time to return to it. I felt that way for a long time, and I just never gotten around to it. I actually have it sitting in front of me. I, it's one of those games I'm going to replay on, make this, uh, on PS3. They're going to make me play slots? Oh, come on, really? Ah, no shit. Damn, fuck. Why do I have to hit three of them? Oh, no, shit! Okay, I'm panicking. Hang on. I was close. My YouTube career is in jeopardy because I can't cuss anymore. <laughs> uh, so is mine. To be fair, though, I've been, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but, like, all of my decisions seem to be, like, really paying off for me. Because, like, I, I, I mentioned this offhand on a, on a couple of videos, I, I think streams especially, that I, I have been, like, trying to curse less because I've, I've moved away from it. Uh, I don't like doing it. I think it's crass and uh, unsophisticated. Um, and then YouTube comes along and, like, reaffirms what I've been doing and tells, and tells everyone, yeah, we're gonna demonetize people who curse. And I'm just like, oh, man, yes. YouTube is validating, like, what, I, what I'm doing in my life. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll have to look at good old games, because I think they have a lot of things that Steam doesn't have. Like, I think uh, I saw Rayman 2 on there when I last looked. Like, th there are things on good old games I'd, I'd like, to, like to see. It's interesting how, like, PC gamers, like, exclusively talk about, like, Steam Deck and Valve. Uh, Steam, specifically. 
as opposed to like any other platform because I actually don't know like uh, I don't actually have a lot of experience with anything outside the Steam ecosystem so I'm like I'm curious if like my uh, if I'll, I'll change my opinion on PC gaming if I try a service other than Valve and like I, I've dabbled with that a little bit with like Blizzards and like you know uh, Starcraft is on Steam uh, for example uh, you know I, I, played, I played a little bit of Starcraft uh, don't really like it, uh, cause the AI is shit. I mean, I think StarCraft, I played enough for StarCraft to know that I, I do like it a lot. It's just, I don't like the, uh, the AI and how, like, a general single player campaign is. I think it's probably more fun if you're playing with someone else, but, like, everyone, I, I've never actually tried playing a game on one. Because uh, I know I'll, I'll get stomped. And I, I just don't think I want to take the time to learn a new game, honestly. And it's not really anything against the game itself. It's just, like, it's an old multiplayer game that just, uh, I don't know, like, the metagame has already been established. What's the, what's the point of going back to it now? Actually, I think I'm going to try, like, flying onto the deck with Slip with Diddy and then seeing if there's a barrel on the ship. Because I don't know how you get up there with Chunky. Um... Yeah, this is the last banana in the Galleon. So we are almost... Almost 100% completion. Well, almost is kind of a stretch. More than halfway. Um, more than three quarters. said get on K. Rool's ship. So I think you're supposed to, like, body slam something? I think this thing, from what I understand. But I don't know how you get on the ship without... Maybe if I lower the... Enough with, like, lowering and raising the water level. Let's, let's try and just get up, up there. Yeah, how do you get up there? I, I would never try this if I didn't know this is where I was supposed to go. assume that was what holy shit I did it okay uh... got it okay oh yes look at this I have never seen this room before wow okay so this must, this must be one I've never I've never done ever. Why is my face on these? Uh. Stay still and let me shoot you.
Chunky can slam the barrels with his face. Why didn't that work the first time? Wait, because of the way where my fist is? Is the hitbox just weird? Well, okay, whatever. Okay. Oh no, Chunky! <laughs> no. What a weird thing to throw into the game. Especially since I could, like, just exit. Since I, uh... I could just exit the level. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. Funky Forest. Okay. Alright, we are heading to Funky Forest. We are officially past the halfway point. Yeah, I imagine in the later half of the game we didn't get like anywhere near all the bananas. So let's uh, let's take a look here. I have gotten shockingly little on DK Isles. I'm gonna have to like figure that out as well. But <gasps> okay, uh, creepy castle, funky forest. Okay. That's about what I expected. Lots of twos and ones. Okay. Like I said, Funky Forest is like really annoying. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to DK. Yeah, because I, because you can't keep track of which bananas you've gotten. Like the way I have to do this is that I have to like go through an entire list of like bananas you can get onto the map, and then it just you know, it's it's annoying. Is this where like K Roll's ship lands eventually? I think it is. It's so weird, like going past. Going past this part and like not seeing it there. Okay. Whoa. Did I actually have my Twitch settings set correctly? Let's see. Yeah, I am on Dumb Killer 3 4. Okay. It's nighttime. Yeah, it's just apparently a scrap stage for Banjo Kazooie. Do 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 do. Yeah, this game has uh, quite a few surprisingly creepy areas, actually. Probably, probably one of the big reasons I like it so much. Oh, by, by the way, I, uh, I finished River City Girls 2 last night, and it was it was fantastic. I, um... Yeah, I think I'm, a, I'm officially a fan of River City at this point. Because I was so into it. Oh, here we go. Richard! I kind of love those classic rareware, like, animal designs. So, giant mushroom. Where is the giant mushroom? This map is so ridiculously huge, and like, I've honestly never been able to figure out exactly what the... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> How to navigate this area. 
Uh, yeah, not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm just happy I got through Gloom and Galleon. Honestly, I was getting kind of bored of that. To be fair, though, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of Funky Forest either. Uh... Big mushroom. Yes. Is Genshin Impact a phenomenal game? Uh, I I haven't played it yet. I I, huh. I was thinking I might try it. Is it on Steam? I might try downloading it. I thought the same thing about Destiny 2, but I ended up not playing it in the end because the file size was so big. Uh, same with the uh, same with Apex Legends. Like it was just pure shit. I, Okay, I think what you do... Yeah, this is, a, this is a really good example of just, like, how much this game relies on character swapping. Oh wait, wow, that was the wrong one. What am I, what am I doing? Wait, have I have I shot that? It's weird. Did I not bother to hit the ball? generally pretty good but like boy are there are a lot of bananas that are just big nothings like this is this is a really good example like who came up with this like oh uh, make five put five targets in the wall and make each call shoot them once like really this is what they came up with Absolutely nothing. Yes, yeah, so I think what I'm supposed to do is hit the switch. And then just... Okay. Then you just blast up there. Okay, I see. I love, like, the uh, barrel blasts in these games. They're so cool. Yes, got him. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's three. On one of the walkways outside the giant mushroom is a DK pad that will send you into a barrel blast stage for banana. I'm, I'm sure I've gotten that one. But I might as well check just to make sure. I, I don't have class for sure, so. Right? Let's check. No, I don't. Okay, so that is... Okay, so assuming I don't have this, if I put that in class, I'll only have, like... Okay. Oh, hang on. Is, it... is there a lower class? I, I think there is. Lower walkway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, hang on. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I found Chunkies. Uh... I'm gonna go get him if, uh... Okay. Yeah, that's another thing. You can't collect other Kongs as, uh, clasps, which is kind of annoying. Okay, let's... At least I know where it is, but... Yeah, when you know, like, when there's a lot of bananas to be found, there's a lot of bananas to be found. They're everywhere.
I generally speaking, I uh, I don't think these stages are as good or memorable as their DKC uh, equivalents. They're just not as fast, and there are times where like you get legit confused, like which which barrel am I supposed to go for here? Like sometimes you can just okay. Either it's a dead end, or I already got the banana, and I'm pretty sure I already got it, so. It's not a hard thing to miss. Okay, in the large barn. Where is the barn? Hey, where is the barn? I don't even know what they're talking about. Barn? Uh, I haven't even opened this gate yet. Wow. I think you have to punch it open. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should go back and get Chunky's crush up first. Since I'm like playing as Chunky anyway. Oh, really? Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. You have Lanky do it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get Trunky's Crush up first before I forget. And there's a lot of things to get, so I probably will forget. There's so many barrel swap stations. Yeah, this is what I really want. Like, I want, like, a DK64-2 that brings back, like, a bunch of playable comps. Like, I want Funky Kong playable, I want Dixie playable. And I don't understand why they didn't make Dixie playable in this. They used Tiny instead. I... I don't know, I don't have a problem with Tiny. Like, I, I like Tiny Pun yeah, perfectly fine. It's just... It's just, like... Well, you already have a female character. And I think Dixie is always gonna be, like, uh, more popular among fans, because... Uh, she, she's like the OG, right? Yeah, it has nothing to do with like uh, what the character is. It's, it's more like, oh yeah, like Dixie came first, so people got more faster. I I would say I'm more per personally attached to Tiny, personally. So um, she's the OG con character. I I grew up with this and love DKC2. So. Even though I think DKC2 is probably the better game. Well, this is a better kids game, though. Like, this, I think, is more appealing to kids than DKC2 was. I can't believe I jumped off the ledge and just randomly stumbled across a crusher. And I don't... The worst part is, I don't remember exactly... That is not what I was about to do. Wow, there's so many things to find! Yeah, I completely forgot about these. I don't even know what happens when you collect all everything here. Yeah, I'll have to do that for sure. going for it all, but, uh, alright, kind of cool to just randomly stumble across it, I guess. Uh, I might have to, yeah, I might have to climb back up there. Oops. 
I love that. Again, this game is so, like, cartoony. It's it's great. Like, the, the first DKC really emphasized the, the realism, but they, I think 3 wanted to go for a more cartoony direction, and I, I think they really did it properly with this one. I wish, like, more games kind of had this kind of personality. Um, I don't know. I, I do kind of miss, like, how Rareware handled these characters. Um, I, I like Retro's versions, version, but, like, I, I don't think it's, like, the definitive one, honestly. Like, this is Donkey Kong to me. I, I don't... Except no substitutes, I suppose you could say. I mean, ideally, like, Retro, Rareware would have made Donkey Kong Country. Uh, unfortunately, we have to deal with, uh, <laughs> the Microsoft buyout. So I was looking for a barn or some shit. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I was looking for. Actually, maybe I should open that gate and see what's back there. Before I do anything with this. Yeah, I suppose I can, I can consult the guide when I'm lost, but... I think there's a big chunk of this work, this level I haven't, like, investigated yet, so... I probably should go ahead and explore if I, if I see something suspicious. I think, like, a closed gate is, like, probably the most suspicious thing I could find. Okay. Yeah, I was playing Star Wars Rogue Squadron a while back as well, so I think I'm gonna pop that in. Uh... <sighs> That's good. I can't believe there's an entire section of the map I haven't uncovered yet. Or maybe it just leads back to, like, the tree or something. Nope, it's... okay. Yeah, I remember this place. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too well, honestly. Uh, this is a beetle race area, I think. Or, do you race the beetle here, or is it another creature? This isn't like the beetle race, but... <laughs> I think I think it's another one. God, I hate the beetle races. So we actually, I actually already did the beetle races, so you won't have to like see me like seethe at that, but... Yeah, there's a lot of things in here. Uh, what the fuck is that? A fucking rabbit? Do I have this speed power up yet? I should, right? Okay, so it's a rabbit. What a douchebag, look at that. <laughs> what a loser! Wee! What am I getting caught on? Hang on. Three. Hey, where's the next one? Why can't I catch up? <laughs> what is that stupid hat? Uh. Okay. Okay, I think I got him. I think I got him. It's fucking funny. Uh, 
Did I drop the wrong? Oh, did I? I dropped it the wrong order. Let's see. Three. No, I wasn't really trying. You can't have to. What a sore loser! The, did you see how he just disappeared? Like, like he was never there to begin with. He was a ghost. Like. Uh, what a sore loser. Uh, okay. Okay, let's, let's try this again. He wasn't really trying? How much would I have to pay you to get on your show? Uh, I don't take guests, so... I, I don't... No, I don't, I don't think I would. No amount. This stupid rabbit. Did he take like some steroids or something? <laughs> because like it looks like he's going at like oh. okay. I can't believe he conned me out of a gold banana. Like, oh I wasn't really trying. Sure, buddy. Sure. I'm not sure I'll be able to win though. Weird way that one is is placed. You can you can cut ahead pretty easily. Uh, hang on, let me go. How the hell did he get over there? Ah! Damn it! I was ahead of him for. I ran into an enemy. You sure are a one mean monkey mover. What does that mean? You should have given it to me the first time. I shouldn't have had to race him twice. Oh, <sighs> okay, whatever. Oops, it's not what I Alright, we have like, what, 43 to go? Okay. Um, I saw a tiny, a tiny Kong one over here. So I think we're gonna go over that direction first. Yeah, I'm glad I came this direction because, yeah, we need golden bananas. We don't have to, like, go to the west. We can just get them organically. So... Yeah, I don't remember what this one is about. Uh...
I barely remember that rabbit, to be honest with you. So. Oh, by the way, fun fact, this is where the, uh, the DSP banana song came from. Is this melody? <laughs> I'm a banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth. Uh, just, just, uh. <laughs> I guess I could play it now since it came out. I fucking love the banana song. It's like the greatest thing DSP has ever done. Oh, hang on. DSP banana song. Hang on, oops. Did I fuck up? Where the fuck is it? Ah, whatever. Just take my word for it, it's like the funniest thing ever. The funniest thing Phil's ever done. Oh, come on! What? I got kicked back to the beginning? Oh, no. Ah. Damn it, hang on. Let's, uh, let's go back. I think we had, we had a warp game set up, so it's not like too big of a deal. Alright. How many more do we have left? Let's see, Funky Forest. Two. We even have the class. Yeah, I do. So Tiny actually has a bunch of them. She needs to get. Wait, was that thing there the first time? I didn't see it. Crystals at this rate. Ugh. Hello, good to see you too. Oh man, blast it. I love how they just home in. It doesn't make any sense, but they just do it anyway. Oh, come on, that's it? Oh man, that's disappointing. Like, either these bananas are brutal, or they're... They're like... Insanely easy. Okay. I think we have, I think it's safe to say, yeah, I think we might get the last Diddy uh, banana next. So after that, we can kind of focus on the other characters. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, what's over in this direction? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a portal over here, but like... Kirby? I have a I, I have a hundred percent of the Forgotten Land. If 
Any, if I would play like any Kirby again, uh, it would be Superstar. And honestly, it probably should be Superstar Ultra, uh, because I, I prefer that version of the game. I, uh, I've been playing a lot of NSO Super Nintendo games lately, uh, some of the ones that I haven't played yet, so I have been playing Breath of Fire 1, which is way better than I remember it being, actually. Uh, I'm, I've been playing Earthbound, and I think I am going to go ahead and like play some more Superstar. So I, I think I think the next Kirby game I play on stream will be Superstar. Uh, it might not be tonight, but yeah, I think it's gonna happen eventually. Okay. The hell, man. I think I did this out of order. <laughs> Wait, was I not on the thing? Oh, do you have to come back here at night? Oh, it's an owl, isn't it? Yeah, I think you have to come back at night. It's always confusing when, like, nothing happens when something's supposed to happen in these games. Uh, yeah, I can't have gotten it already because I just opened the game, so... Sure, I'll probably just play whatever. Um, I wasn't gonna come on at all. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have come on tonight. On on at all tonight if it wasn't a holiday. So. <laughs> what is that owl? Look at that asshole. Woo woo. Come back when you can fly? Is, is, is that racist? Okay. Yeah, Tropical Freeze is amazing. Yeah, maybe I should play some GameCube tonight. I, I suppose I could, like, switch over to that. Uh, I have some GameCube games. And, oh, here we go. Good. I was worried about my crystals running out. Okay. Wait, where the hell is he? Diddy Kong is so cool. Holy shit. I don't know why Diddy Kong isn't, like, a more popular character. I feel like... Back in the 90s, he was like the coolest shit ever. But these days, like, the kids are obsessed with, like, Sonic. Yeah, I don't know why... I don't know why Sonic is, like, so much more popular when... When Diddy has, like, consistently been in way better games. I legit think it must be because of, like, the combat. Yeah, here it goes. The fan animation. Animation. Because, like, I would say the adventure games are legitimately good, but, like, I don't think the vast majority of, like, the modern Sonic fan base have played the adventure games. Oh, come on! I don't even get the banana! I get the... Okay. I got scammed. That is a scam. <sighs> is what you is this where you stand your ground and like uh yep yep yeah 
This is the best argument for standard round laws ever. It's been my life. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Fuck. Okay. This is why we need bones. Oh, really? I thought I got it. Okay. Welcome to bonus day. Okay. I think I'm ready to play something else. Um, how about some shovelware? I uh, I bought an N64 multi card. There's a handful of games on there that I owned as a kid and that I would like to experience live for you all. Um, Superman 64, namely, but. Uh, Power Rangers Light Team Rescue is another one. Colors is good, but I don't know. I, I've learned not to trust the, the Sonic fan base in general. Like, my, uh, I, I think my favorite Sonic games are the adventure games. Um, I, adventure has been a blast, honestly. Oh, that's right. We can, like, probably stream some on PC after I'm done with uh, NC4. Let's see. Uh, yeah, should I call it quits now? Yeah, I think I made plenty of progress. I think I'm ready to uh, play something else. Um, unbelievably comfy. I, I love how like how like relaxing it is. Pleasure to play this game again. Throw Squadron. Mischief Makers. Hmm. Okay. I think we are going to play. Fuck yeah. I haven't even watched the series in years, but I've, I could not bring my, I could not like, uh, I mentioned this, I mentioned this in the past as being one of the worst games I've ever finished. And let's see. It looks like it's not even here. Yeah, I love Power Rangers in general, but I've, I've been having problems with watching the series. Aw, oh, holy shit. <laughs> hey, this show isn't on Fox Kids anymore. 
Fox Kids isn't even a thing. Disney acquired it. And then they shut it down. I can't believe I used to play this shit. <laughs> Look at those, like, JPEG images. What the fuck? But the worst part is that the music is unironically badass. God of War Ragnarok isn't on PC yet, is it? I was playing the uh, the original God of War. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through like God of War 1, 2, and 3 and then get God of War 2018 on PC and then kind of talk about like uh, the series as a whole. Um, yeah, what is the story to Lightspeed Rescue? I've seen like Linkara's History of Power Rangers video like several times and I don't remember anything other than like the scientist chick being like hot as fuck. <laughs> These kind this artwork is like MS Paint Tier. Miss Fairweather, yeah, that's her name. Hey, come on! Ah! She looks way better than that! I really gotta watch the series again. I, I'm a big fan of Lightspeed Rescue. I loved this growing up. I would say it's, it was probably my favorite series. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it was probably like the first one I watched while it was airing. Was that before? Was this before or after Time Force? I remember seeing the ending to Time Force and being like blown away by it. Okay. Is the Titanium Ranger not even in this? I haven't seen this show in years, and yet I'm somehow, like, able to pull out names and, like, ideas and shit like that. To be fair, though, uh, you know, I, I did watch uh, Linkara's videos. I really should watch the series again. I really should. Yeah, I watched... Um, I actually put on uh, the first season. Every time I watch Power Rangers, I just end up watching the first season up to, like, Green with Evil. Really enjoy it, but then just kind of fall off of it afterward. It's not bad, honestly. Like, it's really good. I like it a lot. It's just one of those cases where, like... You know, I, I'm not the target audience. Okay, this really confused me as a kid. Like, this is what they came up with? Is that, like, an isometric, like, overhead game where you fire spheres of light at your enemies? It doesn't make any sense. This is just... And, like, I don't think you see any of the rangers outside their... Outside of the more, uh, outside of the suits ever. So, which is kind of weird, um, yeah. Oh, no, I hate that shit. Yay! They don't even call her by her name. Ugh. Three. Yeah, this is the shit the, uh, it was weird seeing the AVGN cover this, because, like, this was a game I grew up with. Okay, get this. Like, you're firing... <laughs> you're actually trying to hit, like, friendly cars, because you're a fire truck who's firing, like, balls of water. <laughs> That's what they came up with. You're putting out the fires by shooting them. And, like, you're not even stopping. Like, one of the reasons I like Light, Light Speed Rescue is that it really, uh, really, like, glamorized uh, rescue workers and what they do and stuff like that. I thought that was, like, badass as fuck. It's a big reason why I like a Fire Force, too. But, 
Uh, yeah, kind of thank you. Fire Force is kind of a spiritual successor to this. They had the same kind of like, uh, <laughs> the same kind of like tone to them, honestly. I mean, like, Fire Force is more sexualized, obviously. Fire Force is like the most over sexualized, like, shonen I've ever seen in my life. And I kind of love it. I unironically, like, oof. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big enabler of, like, Tamaki. Wait, how do you deal with those things? So I just recall, like, you have, like, you have, like, three different kind of stages. You have, like, Megazord battles, you have, like, the overhead ranger ones, and then you have these weird vehicle stages. Oh hell yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, I saw the back of the box. I'm not sure if I told this story before. I got this in the box. Three, two, one, fight! I got this in the box, and I remember like seeing like a picture of like the the Yellow Ranger in, like, full 3D. Like, from behind, like it was a third-person action game. I probably should be talking about the... Oh, no! That is how, like, 90% of the Megazord battles go. They're, like, one-on-one -on -one fighters where you just, like, beat the shit out of the bats. I don't know, did they... Was there a comic book? Like... Yeah, I feel like the series when it's at its peak when, when it aired on Fox. Which is interesting because I didn't watch it until it aired on Disney. Actually, like, I, think, I think I did watch it while it was on Fox. It was just like reruns and stuff like that uh and then like it was always different characters and like different series and it was like it was impossible to keep up with but i liked it a lot i don't i, I think it's probably the way the series is meant to be viewed is just like catching an episode you know like and like just just like getting into it like i don't i don't know i don't think you're required to watch the entire series really invisibility Yay! Yay. <laughs> no. How much of this is like based off of uh, based off the series? Because I don't remember Typhonus. I don't know. Typically, you tend to forget like the forgettable one-off monsters. It's like the reoccurring ones that you tend to remember that are major characters. Oh, come on. We're like in the first mission and we're already talking about the sixth ranger. Oh, come on. Ranger Three, two, one, go. I can't believe I played this game all the way through as a kid. Like, it's so terrible. I suppose, like, this was at the age where, like, you don't really register like, just how shitty something is. And, like, you spent money on a game and... Ugh. Over here! Like, this is, like, an NES, like, level... Level of shovelware, I think. It's so terrible. Okay. Double fire. Yeah. 
last one. There it is. Right. I think that's all there is to the game. It's just that you just walk from point A to point B Yay! over and over again. Like, I love how we're calling them, like, the... Referring to them by their colors as opposed to like their names. That's right, you have the nurse, uh, the ambulance, too. Bro, yeah. <laughs> Why are these other cars just, like... They're just driving along like nothing's wrong. Did you see that? That, like, that, that spaceship just got inside that vehicle. Oops, okay, I guess that guy didn't need help too badly. How do you how do you put out something this shitty? I don't understand why Power Rangers games are so consistently terrible. I haven't played a game this bad in a long time. In a long time. I wonder how long it takes to get through the entire thing. Like, I'm gonna say about an hour. It's not too long. Like, it has a save feature, but I remember pretty explicitly that I that I used to go through the entire thing and then, like, be shocked that it was entirely over. Like, I think I kept expecting it to get good or something. Like, I hated this game right now. Alright. Three, two, I'm not even sure I'll be able to go. get... <laughs> I don't think I can do it, guys! Like, how hard would it have been to make this, like, a straight-up beat-em-up? Like, just make it, like, an arcade-style beat-em-up where you could like choose your ranger and then you go through the plot of the season. That, that's all you have to do. Like maybe throw in some Megazord for action. Like I don't understand, why is it so hard? Yeah, I'm so glad that THQ is dead. Well, I guess, like, THQ Nordic still exists. I don't know how, um, how relevant they are, though. Because I feel like they had a big, a lot of hype when they first, like, surfaced with, like, shit like Biomutant and stuff like that. But now I think they've kind of, kind of fallen by the wayside. I don't think they're all that popular. I mean, like, I remember, like, Angry Joe shilling for Darksiders 3, and, I, I don't know, like, after that, I've never heard the name THQ Nordic again. Over here! Yeah, I, I legit don't think I'll ever play this again. <laughs> after I'm done streaming this, I'm just, like... Wow, this is unbelievably terrible. Here I am. Like, what? 
Like, there's no reason to even explore, because, like, the, the radar tells you exactly where you need to go. I thought there might have been, like, some obstacles or, like, some major enemies you have to get past, but no, you're, you're going from point A to point B. And you can't, like, say this is a kid's game, because, like, y you know, at this age I was already playing, like, A Link to the Past and uh, stuff like that. You know, some of the best games ever made. Like, no, this game is, like, bad full stop. Fuck. What the fuck? Can you not kill it? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. It didn't even look like it was hurt. It didn't even look like it was uh, causing any energy. Uh, injury to me. So I've played as red, green, and yellow, but no pink and no blue, right? So pink is like getting shafted. Is this actually following along with the season? Permanently disconnected? What does that mean? Oh wow, something different! I completely forgot about these stages, okay. Is it just me or is like the Green Ranger their favorite character? Like, this guy has gotten the most screen time, and, like, he's gotten his own unique vehicle stage. Like, we've played as him several times. Like, what about the Green Ranger is special? Other than the fact that he bangs Miss Fairweather at the end. Like, actually, he, get, he actually he gets cucked by his brother once, I remember. Does anyone else remember that episode? That was, like, the funniest shit I've ever seen. Where, like, he's trying to be, like, uh... Oof. Where he tells his brother to ask out Miss Fairweather for him, and she says yes. But the joke is that, like... <laughs> oof. Ah. It was... Oh, here we go. Was... Hey, was that a ranger? I don't know. And they all have... They all have, like, the same voice lines as generic NPCs. This doesn't look like Marina Bay. Marina Bay, or whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck. It's, like, it's supposed to be like a beachside city, isn't it? basically going around picking up the Power Rangers because they're too lazy to just, you know, go back to HQ on their own. Like, are, are, are you serious? I thought the Green Ranger was the one in trouble if, like, the plot was any different. I hate that sound. Yay! I, I feel very confident when I say this was probably made in MS Paint. Look at this art. It's so bad. Three, two, one, fight. Yeah, so you have force fields, and I think you have like special attacks. Yeah, for some reason you don't. For some reason, you have these weird missile things, and I don't think the light sword, light speed best Megazord actually has. Um, I'll have to watch the series again, but uh. Oh, 
come on. Like, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> no. Yay. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah, this is a game that's never coming into this Switch Online. <sighs> so it's all like focused on like the Titanium Ranger. I, I know it seems like a lot of times that like uh, the Six Ranger kind of takes over the entire plot, but yeah, it's very. Hey, who's Diabolico? I know he's the main bad guy, but they haven't explained this in this game. I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't watched a ton of History of Power Rangers. Fucking Linkara does a better job explaining the plot than this game does. Okay, there are only three episodes, right? So we're about a third of the way through the game. Yeah, what do you guys think? Ready to... Some virtual reality training will help? Wow, I actually get to play as the Pink, Pink Ranger. I think we've seen enough, honestly. Like, I don't think... Oh, wow, we actually get different enemy types. Okay. I don't know. I think we've seen everything we need to see, honestly. I am just like, holy fucking shit, this game is terrible. <laughs> like, I can't even, like, wrap my head around this. Like, I, I played this growing up, and I finished it? What was I thinking? Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to switch over to, to N60, uh, to Switch. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I completely forgot that I wanted to play Mario Party 2. Okay. Ah, shit. I think all I have to do is just that's a lot easier than I thought. Doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah. Ah, I was playing Breath of Fire. Uh, let's see. It's plugged in. Right? Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, I'd hate to end the stream and fire it back up just because I switched consoles, but.
Easy enough. Let's see. Switch the Yeti back. Oh, I don't see him. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's play some Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I've been trying to get through Breath of Fire, and for some reason, I really, really suck at this game. Um, especially this first part. I I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I I feel like I struggled this at this section in the beginning, the first time through too, because like the bosses are so brutal. I suppose I could just grind, but I think I'll just like die and save it. I don't know, I, I was like telling people this was my least favorite JRPG ever for a while. Cause like, I played through the entire thing just before Breath of the Wild came out. And I just, I just hated it. But honestly, honestly, like, now that I'm playing it again, I think I might have just, uh, I might have just been a little bit too overzealous. Yeah, I don't think this is one of the games I want to stream. I would... If I'm going to stream, like, a Super Nintendo RPG, it's going to be Earthbound, so... to do I'm gonna have to like just heal every time this guy yeah one of the issues I had with this game is that like it takes way too long for you to get a party <laughs> like like I've been playing this for like what two hours and I'm still like it's just Ryu just kind of dicking around and like the plot doesn't make any sense it's just, ugh. Yeah, there's no strategy to this game, it feels like. You just kind of have to, like, overpower your opponent. Uh, let's see here. Heal. Will I just heal every time he uses, like, the, the lightning attack? so many so little damage at this point it's kind of disheartening honestly like is this my hero is he not strong enough to win i've never played any other breath of fire game so i don't know how they compare to this but um i don't know I, i'm curious about breath of fire too i i had a good time when i i uh, i started my playthrough uh but yeah i haven't i haven't continued it and i probably should looks like shit shit hang on no heal 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 Dishes it out like it's nothing. But this 
fucker can heal? Oh. Is he serious? How am I gonna beat him if he's just gonna heal all the time? I do so little damage. Like, hang on, let's heal. Almost there, come on. Yeah, he's gonna whip out the, the Thunderbolt, I'm sure. Better safe than sorry. Come on. One more. Well, way to go, Ryu. You sure overpowered that guy. <laughs> Oh, that's just a classic JRPG battle. Oh. Wait, he's not going down? Why? I thought he was beat. What? Why is he not dead? Okay, there we go. What an asshole. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about this game is it just, things just kind of happen for no reason. It's hard to follow along with what happens in this game because it's just so... I don't know. I think I think a big reason why I didn't like this when I first played through it is that, like, it's really archaic. And unless you have, like, an appreciation for... Wait, did I, did I say it properly? Okay. Uh... Yeah, I was going to play Mario Party 2, wasn't I? Yeah, Fire Emblem Gage is coming out next weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. And then Octopath after that. Actually, uh, Hogwarts Legacy after that. Yeah, no, on February 10th. So excited. Okay. Wave Race, Ocarina, Star Fox, Win Back, Mario Tennis, Mario Kart, Banjo, Big Mario, I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to play Mario Party 2. Yeah, we're almost done with Mario Party 2, guys. Um, I actually finished all the boards last night. The only thing left now is to unlock all the mini games and beat the uh, <clears throat> beat the mini game minecart, which is amazing. By the way, I'll, I'll always be mad that Super Nintendo World was not based off of uh, Mario Party 2. Like, why don't we have a mystery land and shit like that? Maybe maybe we'll get something like that if <laughs> if it continues, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Super Nintendo World launches this year in California. Uh, February 10th, I think? Shit, the same day that Hogwarts Legacy comes out. Uh... So do you have to be... Do you have to be easy first, or... 
Yeah, when I unlocked this for the first time, this was a mind-blowing experience. This is... You play through all of the minigames. Oh, no! So you can't do hard until you beat normal, huh? Okay, so we gotta do it... Ah, fuck. Yeah, I think this is way, I think this is way better than what they did with uh, Mario Party One. First of all, Mario Party One was just kind of uh, wonky in general. I think this is like this game has a lot more balanced mini games. And... Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're like fighting hard versions of the. Because the AI feels a little bit different here than it does in other parts of the... In other... In... Fuck, get him! Get him! Ah! Uh. It feels like... He's pushing you harder than you can push him. This is kind of brutal. Yeah, I said this was hard, and I kind of, I kind of forgot how hard it actually was, honestly. Back, bouncing back farther than Yoshi does. Yeah, I couldn't beat Yoshi, but I could beat Peach. Do characters have different uh, properties for their AI? I, I know they do when it comes to the board, but like in the minigames themselves, do they behave differently? I knew it was roll call. Ugh. Why am I so plop? I don't have time to do anything. Uh, ah, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's only fifteen. I thought it looked like. Yeah, I um. Ugh. I haven't been able to lose weight, no matter what I do. And it's entirely because of my um, intense work schedule. It was 16? Oh, no, really? But I was closest! Ah, okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a while to get through, I think. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There can't be that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, I counted twenty, but. was good at math. Yeah, I remember bitching about this uh, on Facebook back in the day. Because it was just like so hardcore. I 
It's not 22. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, I looked out there. I just kind of guessed. I already exercised today. Like when I say I don't have time, I mean I don't have time during my typical work week. Yeah, there are certain mini games I'm dreading to do this on, so I'm curious. Curious what they are, like how much, how easy they're gonna, how easy some of this is gonna be. Because some of it is fairly uh, doable, but ah, uh, slot card derby. Ah, yeah, not my, not my favorite course. Not my favorite. Ready, I had to like master this in Mario Party 1, but I think like the controls are slightly different for... No, hang on. No, I think I got it. Yeah. this from Mario Party 1, which... Ah, damn it. Yeah, if I hadn't spun out at the end, I would have won. Like, you, you could have... You saw in that, like, uh... In the first... In, like, that last lap, how I was, like, way ahead. I just... I just spun out in the end. Okay. Don't need to save it. Let's go. Peach, oh man. Oh, we're a battle couple. Did you see that? She helped me beat Yoshi. Got her. Yeah, Peach kind of sucks at this. I wonder if they're, they're set to different AIs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this is set up, but... But yeah, you have to beat this on hard if you're going to unlock every mini game of the game. So it is necessary. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. Yep, seventeen. Hopefully I'm right, so I don't have to, like, do this again. Finish. I'm pretty sure with, like, I could beat Slot Car Derby. Um, Tile Driver is no problem at all. Like, there are certain mini games that, like, I excel at, but then there are others that I'm just kind of, like, completely screwed. That I completely fail.
I don't know how you would screw this up. Got him. Yeah, anything like action based, I'm I'm good at. Like the issue is that like, like just button mashing, and I think like just the AI doing things that uh, you as a human player can't do is is the problem with a lot of these. And so it's a big reason why this is like so brutal, is that you are gonna get messed with a lot. Hmm. <sighs> Spitting out near the end. I would have gotten a one up if I had managed to beat it, but all right, whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Do you think I should play the greatest attorney tonight? I think I should. I finished like the first case of uh, of the second game, but I haven't gone back to it yet. I, I really should. Um, Persona Five as well. I I shelved that because uh, I had like a bad day and I came home, played it, and uh, shut it shut it off without without saving, and I got frustrated and shelved, put it away. But I don't even know. I think I did, but... Oh, damn it! Slackar Derby has never been my forte. Yeah, I, I probably should... It must have changed how the balance works in this, because I'm slowing to a stop whenever I, I do what I did in the original with the... Yeah, you mentioned that, the Call of Duty knockoff. I wonder if it's, like, possible that anything could, like, eclipse COD in, like, the generic COD category. I, I don't know. After the whole, like, um, COD needs to die, honestly. And I hope, like, the Mac Microsoft acquisition does it, but... I don't know, there are plenty of alternatives. Like, I think the only reason it sells is because of brand recognition, honestly. It's McDonald's of Vidya. And like people treat it like it's a big deal. Like they really do. It's 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 frustrating. Again? What? Why am I not able to... Yeah, this is brutal. Slot car derby, I have... 
I I never liked the mini game, but like after the whole uh, after the whole like Mario Party one thing, I like it being the final boss. Like I <laughs> I've grown to hate it. I really have. Oh, come on, he's right there! Take him off! There we go, got him. Well, because it's getting in the way of, like, of the industry, like, evolving. And, like, you know, you know like, uh, when, when Angry Joe, like, spurred the fuck out over Splatoon 3 winning, like, best multiplayer game over COD, like, that's why COD needs to die. Because of people like that. You know? Like, oh, but this is the best COD in years. Yeah, so? It's still shit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Wow, oh, shit. It has to be seventeen, it has to be. 18 seems like way too long. Yep, knew it. <gasps> if it wasn't for like people who took the end who take like gaming seriously, like Call of Duty would theoretically win like game of the year every year because it's it sells the most, right? Like, this is, a, this is an example of just why, like, sales are not indicative of quality. Call, Call of Duty is, like, the defining example of that. Like, everyone knows. Hating COD, I think, is, like, an entry-level thing to hating, like, other video game franchises. So, I think getting rid of COD is, like, essential. I think, I think COD is just, its mere existence causes problems. For for the gaming industry as a whole, you know that was the that was like one of the things that I was told growing up is that like you can't play Nintendo because it doesn't have COD. Like, no, I don't like COD. Like, Is it just me? Are these guys not spinning out at all? No! Like, it was a... It was the most mild turn imaginable. How exactly... How exactly... Isn't it incredible how, like, you'll have the same kind of people complaining about Nintendo Switch Online and how they don't have ownership of games, and then turn around and then complain that Nintendo re-releases their old games too much? Like, which is it? It's almost like you're... Just trying to find an excuse to hate Nintendo, which you are. Um, again, this this is why I don't take criticisms of the company all that seriously, because like nobody knows what they're talking about. Like when I see Spoonie spurging about how Zelda hasn't evolved in like thirty years, I just laugh my ass off and play like Breath of the Wild. You know, like it's... oh, that was the last lap. Got him. Yeah, I just slowed down in that final stretch. Fuck them. Okay. Do you start with, like... 
you start with full lives? I, I don't remember how that worked exactly. I don't think you do, so it might be, like, beneficial for me to, like, not save when I get to the next course, but we'll see. Why am I always the one that's dropping the strawberries? I don't understand why this game... Yeah, I think I think hard mode is harder than this. Uh, yeah, I must be playing against these guys in normal. Yeah, destruction duet. have I put into this game? I should probably check. Yeah, I've been ready for Mario Party 3 to come out for a while. I'm curious, like, how, how that's gonna hold up. Because I don't think I ever did everything in Mario Party 3. Yeah, next weekend I'll be uh, streaming Fire Emblem Engage for sure. I'm not sure... Um, I still feel like I know nothing about it, honestly, going into those. Like, I know Edelgard's in it, and I've already purchased the DLC, but for that reason, but... Yeah, I'm playing on normal, so I think this is a little bit easier than what I'm used to. Like, I think the last couple of times I've played this, I've always played on hard. Oh, wait, what was this? Speed hockey! Oh, I love speed hockey. Yeah, World 2 is not hard. Okay. Yeah, I had way more trouble with- Oh, Luigi, you fucking retard! You just let it go in! Okay, hang on. Yeah, I love speed hockey, but, like, boy, when you have, like, a, a low-ranking, like, AI partner, it's- it's the worst. Luigi's just letting it go in. What an idiot! All right, hang on. Okay, we got it. Yeah, I think, yeah, even if you get a tie, you still lose. Okay, I think I can pull off a win. How? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Wow! That was like a Luigi level move, Wario. That was awesome. Ding. Yeah, okay, we'll have to see if we can uh, zip our way straight to the end. Yeah, there are six worlds of normal mode, so we're already on world three. Yeah, this is brutal and hard, but I think I'm... No! Oh, not the crane game. No! Why? Why does this game even exist? Like, I've never... I don't even like doing this.
Like if there if there was ever a mini game that did not need to exist in Mario Party, it's it's a great game. Like this shit pisses me off. Like when I see like the crane in Toy Story, I want to like beat the shit out of it. Like when you see the aliens that like uh, exist to be part of the crane game, like you just want them to die because. It's honestly not even worth it to get the 15 because it takes so long to get over there. Now, even just doing this makes me angry. Ah! How is he breaking out? Okay, got him. Okay, I probably have enough time for one last. Holy shit, that was rough. Oh, I hope I get through all of World 3. I hate that! I hate that game so much. Did you guys notice that, like, uh... That zero wing parody I did on like my community post tab. And like I made a joke about like uh, all your Nintendo games are belong to us. Like it was making fun of emulators. But like <laughs> did you notice that like somebody corrected me on my grammar? <laughs> when that was just like that's the joke. I love Zero Wing, by the way. I've been, like, crazy about the, uh... <laughs> I've been crazy about it lately. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I do these days, is wait for a bit. Because they always try to turn and fake you out. He always does it at the last minute. Fuck. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta beat Luke away. I just looked straight ahead. I would have gotten them all. Okay. Peach's model looks so off here. I never actually use Peach, so it's always weird whenever you do see her. I got DK. Okay, I'm not... I think I'm overthinking this. I just gotta, like, choose a direction. And probably... S <sighs> and then, like, switch it. As they switch it. I, I think they must wait until, like, the last possible second to switch. But... Damn it, really? <sighs> Damn it, they got me. <sighs> yeah, 
think I'm gonna have to luck out. I think, uh... Oh, no, if I keep fucking up, I'll have to do the crane game again. No! Changing direction at the last possible second. Are they reading my inputs? and they were somehow in none of them. <sighs> Maybe I should play some Splatoon tonight. It's been a while. Yeah, fuck you, DK. I just looked up. I hate it when they look in the same direction, because it just means you can get them both. Got him! Da, 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 da. Easy. Too easy. Okay. So what's next after this? I think this one's be pretty straightforward. And yeah, you're always the one in the one versus three. I don't think there's ever a situation in which... Oh, I shouldn't have given... I shouldn't have given DK so much room. Yeah, there's a strategy to this. Like, you always... You actually want to ignore the, uh, the extra targets because they actually help pin down your opponents. I think that's more obvious in like situations like this, but yeah. I had a juice, I should probably get some more. Strike. Oh no, I have plenty of juice. Delicious. Yes, got a one up. Okay. Yeah, we're already on one four. Wow. Yeah, we would. The game would be over if we had chosen to play on easy, but toad in the box. Yeah, I'm good at a lot of these mini games, but the ones that like I'm really bad at just tend to like ruin my entire run. Cause you have to play through like every mini game in the game, right? So no matter what happens, you end up just oh wow. I love Baby Bowser so much. You know, playing this game again, it really made me realize just how much I miss Baby Bowser. Cause these days they just lose. These days they have the tendency to just use Bowser Jr. instead. And it's really kind of annoying. Got him. Duh. And forty three. Tipsy Tourney. 
Yeah, do you think I should... Yeah, I think I'll probably, like, beat normal and then probably take a break and come back and do hard, like, in a later day. Like, probably when they confirm Mario Party 3 is coming out. Honestly, there's no real reason to do this, but I just really, really enjoy it. You do get, you get like, uh, you do unlock some extra mini games, but... Which are kind of nice if you've uh, never seen them before, but... And tipsy turning is easy. Yeah, if you can keep winning, you can really rack up the lives. Coda pull pound. Yep, I should get another one up after this. Yeah, we should be getting a Nintendo Direct soon. I, uh... I think we can expect one in February. Like, we've gotten one in the past couple of years, and it's been a while since we got a, a new one. So I'm optimistic that we actually will get some new game announcements soon, and I hope it's soon. I, I feel like we haven't gotten any new new announcements in, in a long time. Truth be told. Like, new Nintendo announcements. Like, not indie games, not... Not minor third-party games. I want, like, real new Nintendo announcements. And I suppose, like, even, like, a new, like... Just showing off the new Mario Kart 8 courses will be... Is good enough for me, but... That's... Yep, yep, one up. Is someone complaining about the Switch library? Leave. Like you were you were delusional. You don't know anything about video games. Like how many years have I spent playing Mario Party 2? Like, this game alone is I think more fun than anything that's available on PS5 and Xbox One right now. Oops. Oops, oh PG. Yeah, I either, like, dominate Shell Shocked or I lose. Like, in an embarrassing way, and that was one of the... I was hoping I could win and keep up my streak, but whatever. really has it out for me. She really wants me dead. Ah, let me be kidnapped by Bowser. Take a hint. It's always the one to the left. Okay. each other out, but I managed to take advantage of the situation. Okay, world five. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I, I like this a lot. I suppose, like, nothing beats doing this the first time, but... Magna Carta. That's a battle mini game, though. I swear whoever wins, the, whoever gets a hold of the treasure chest first. I don't think there's any exception to this. Excellent.
Bobsled run, hell yeah. Yeah, I've been, uh, I was actually considering playing Final Fantasy XIV here soon. I really want to, I really want to play some MMO, um, to have an idea of what modern Final Fantasy is like. And I think Final Fantasy XIV is probably the best way to do that. Because I do think that's the moneymaker right now for them. And it's probably influenced a lot of their decisions for Final Fantasy XVI and stuff like that. I've, I've heard that, like, there is no real enthusiasm for Final Fantasy XVI at all. Like, people are not happy with the way that, that game is shaping up. And I, I, uh, I wasn't interested in it when I saw the trailer, but, like, when I heard that it wasn't coming to PC, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I, I am not buying a PlayStation. And I, I said the same thing for Final Fantasy VII R as well. I think we're at the point now where, like, Final Fantasy fans are just perfectly fine waiting for a PC version of a game rather than playing a PlayStation just for, like, Final Fantasy. Um, I, I don't think Final Fantasy has the pool power, that, uh, the purchasing, purchasing power that it used to. Uh, people just are fed up with PlayStation and their nonsense. Yeah, I'm really curious just how badly Final Fantasy XIV, uh, 16 is going to do. I love that, how they just careen off the edge, they just give up. Yeah, Nintendo's the only company doing anything. For sure. It's why everybody's, like, asking for new Nintendo Directs, because they want new games. I personally want... And when do you think Pikmin's gonna come out? That's what I'm looking forward to right now, is a new Pikmin. To be fair, though, I've, I've played through, like, Pikmin 1 and 3 so many times in the past year. I... I really think I'm perfectly happy just playing Pikmin 1 over and over again. I was thinking of playing it tonight, but I think I'll, I'll save it till next week. Yeah, I think I'm ready to like play play a lot of um, GameCube games again. I'd like to stream some uh, Bat and Kaido's Origins. Like, maybe after I get out of the woods. The woods in, like... The, uh, the woods. The jungle in Origins is just a, a complete pain. Honestly, I think the entire second half is just kind of kind of bloated. It really suffers from, like, end-game JRPG syndrome, where it just kind of drags on when it doesn't really need to. I don't know why every JRPG feels the need to do that. I suppose, like, it's a genre thing, but I, I just... Ugh. I really don't like it, especially as an adult. Where, like, I don't have a lot of free time. Like, ugh. like, if the story doesn't progress past a certain point, like, just make the game shorter. Like, that that's kind of my vibe on it. My feeling on it. And I, and I do think Bad Kaido's Origins does have the same kind of problem. I mean, I say the same thing about Final Fantasy X as well. I'll have to look at my GameCube collection again. Well, to be fair, I'm actually, like, looking at my PS2 collection right now. Or, more specifically, my HD PS3 collection. So, uh, that's probably what I'm going to be playing in the foreseeable future. But I can't stream it, so, unfortunately, yeah, I won't be able to stream Sly Cooper on stream. Even though I really want to. Uh, I, I played Sly Cooper a little bit last night. I went to, like, uh, Raleigh's Fortress. And I, I think, like, Sly Cooper is actually my favorite PlayStation mascot character. Because he's, like, fun and unique and creative and doesn't feel like the character is is forced or, like, edgy or, like, a copycat of other franchises. Like, it, it's cool. Like, it's legit, like, really cool seeing these areas and the creativity and stuff like that. I, uh, I find it really admirable, actually. And the game is, like, pretty budget, too. It feels, like, pretty primitive, even by 2002 standards. But I really liked it. I thought Sly Cooper is like the shit. And I, and I, I never beat Sly 3 either, so I actually do have... Uh, I mean, to be fair, though, I think... I, 
I, I heard so many bad things about Sly 3 growing up. I had no real... I was put off of buying it, even when it did come out. And plus at that point, I think I was like dumb with the PS2 anyway. I like moved on to like... Full, full, like, Nintendo exclusivity at that point, I think. Yeah, I think the... When did Sly 3 come out? Like, 2004? 2006? Like, the Wii was on the way, right? Yeah, I think I was playing more, like, JRPGs at that point. That's what I was crazy about. And plus, like, Sly 2, I don't, I didn't like as much as the original anyway, so... I had no... I had no real optimism for... For, uh, for three from the get-go. August? Yeah, full ten years after after Pikmin 3, huh? That, that is weird to think about. That, like, that game's been out for a decade. And we're probably not going to get a Pikmin 5, uh, considering Miyamoto isn't going to be around like ten years from now. He'll probably still be alive, he just won't be working at Nintendo. He'll be retired by then, I think. I can see, like, Miyamoto announcing his retirement as soon as, like, the premiere of the Mario movie, honestly. I mean, he's already basically retired from, like, active game development. Now he's just kind of like a superior officer at Nintendo, like overseeing their multimedia projects in the parks and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, like when, when realistically can we expect Miyamoto to retire? Like, I think it'll be very soon. Um, and I'm kind of concerned about what's gonna happen after that, because I don't think anyone's really gonna step up and replace him, honestly. I, I don't think it's really necessary though. I, I don't know, I, I just feel like the Mario movie is shaping up to be so good that I think that it's very possible that he could have gone on to make more, like, movies with different Nintendo franchises that are just as good. But, like, I don't think uh, he's going to be actively working. Hang on, oops. Working at Nintendo long enough to... Uh, for that to feasibly happen. I've I've heard rumors that like the Zelda movie is already in production, and maybe it is, but eh. Speaking of like animated movies, um like I've I've heard that like Puss in Boots 2 is like the greatest thing ever. And I've seen clips from it, and I kind of actually I kind of actually believe it. I wanna believe it, because it sounds awesome, like what they're describing, but like I just don't like the sense of humor of the Shrek movies. I've never liked them much. I think Shrek 2 is fine for what it was, but, like, I, I just don't... It sucks. They they tackle such, like, serious subject matter in Puss and Butts 2, but then they attach it to, like, a shitty brand. It's the, it's the Mario Rabbids of, of animated movies. Uh, here we go. Shit. Shit, I, I keep fucking this up. But I won? All you have to do is just survive? I thought you had to get more coins than everyone else. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Hey Pikmin. Yeah, Hey Pikmin's an interesting game. Uh, I mean, it's made by, like, Arzaz, but... It's, uh, it's not all bad. From what I remember, it's like a, it's a 7 out of 10 game. Um, it's the best game they've ever made, for sure. Which isn't saying much, considering it's Arzaz, but... <sighs> I don't think it worked ever. I... I, uh... I never thought Shrek was funny.
Yeah, I don't think I like DreamWorks in general. I've like looked at their catalog and I, I think I generally just prefer the uh, their Disney equivalents. Yeah, I wonder if like Illumination could theoretically, and I don't know. I know one of the things that everyone's like emphasizing in regards to the in the uh, the Mario the Mario movies how like dark and menacing the Puss in Boots movie is like how dark it is, and I wonder if like the Nintendo movies could do the same thing because uh, it looks like the Mario movie will be surprisingly dark. Okay, right, left, a. Okay. Right, left. A, B, Z, left. Right, left. We all got it. Yep. Yeah, I'm curious if, like, the Mario movie is going to be, like, the best animated movie of, like, the year. I, I'm curious, like, how it's going to be received, because everything I've seen is that it, it feels like the, the animation industry, and especially the gaming sphere, they're really trying to deny how good this movie actually looks. You know, because we all thought this was going to be, like, you know, um, you know, pop culture filled, like, SJW woke nonsense, and it's not. It's clearly not, even though there's, like, a dedicated group of people trying to say it is. Um, like, remember when, like, they tried to pretend that, like, Peach was, like, a feminist <laughs> stereotype in, uh, when they released the new trailer, which was absurd, right? I can't believe I got through normal mode that quickly. I wish I could have jumped straight to hard mode. Like, I don't think normal mode was worth my time, because, uh, you know, when you play on the higher difficulties, you get more courses. So, uh, I don't, th I don't throw enough of them. I love this mini game, but we goof. This is the kind of goofy bullshit you just love in Mario Party. That's it. The normal curse hands here. Yep, we got it. Shit. What a waste of my time. Oh no. Yeah, they give you all these coins, but there's not really much. It's not really much to buy after this point. Oh, they're a lot more expensive, okay. I don't know, should I get started on hard mode, or should I... Yeah, I think I'll probably take a break. Uh, for now. Yeah, Mario Party 2. Okay, what, what else do I want to play? Let's see. Wave Race... 
this Mario Golf. Nah, I, I think I've played essentially everything. I could probably put some more time into Star Fox, but I, should I do a run of Star Fox? Every time I play Star Fox lately, I just get, keep getting frustrated. Ah. I don't know. I think I'm all Star Foxed out at the moment. Uh, Super Metroid, All Stars, DKC. Oh yeah, that's right. I was actually playing uh, DKC three. Uh, trying to one hundred percent it. I I suppose I could do that. Eh. Does anyone want to see? Does anyone want to watch me play DKC three? Because I just uh, I just think DKC three is. Oh, Sunshine. We can do Sunshine. I have Sunshine in here. Uh, yeah, Sunshine is a game people would want to watch me play. I feel like... Okay. I said I was gonna play GameCube games and I meant it. This is the, this is the only GameCube game available on the service, but. Oh, by the way, like there was some guy on um one of my uh, anti emulation posts who claimed that like Super Mario Galaxy could not run on a Switch. <laughs> like what? Oh, it couldn't be emulated. They had to they had to partially port it. What, what does that mean? <laughs> like that's so fucking stupid. I don't know what the what, what he was what he was on about, but we're on a uh, Noki Bay now, right? Yeah, we could probably beat this tonight. Uh, truth be told. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I think Sonic Adventure is, uh, in a lot of ways, better than this. I mean, I don't know. This is more polished overall. Like, Sonic Adventure... If Sonic Adventure was, like, nothing but speed stages, I would say it's probably better, but... Like, hmm. I don't know. I keep going back and forth on that. Because I, I think, like, not every stage in Sonic Adventure is good. And I'm just... Uh, How are you gonna rock and jump without a flood? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, whatever. say that like I do prefer Sonic Adventure over this. Uh to be honest with you. I, I think Sonic Adventure uh is the ideal Sonic game while this is like not a particularly good Mario one. And like I don't I, I hate saying that because like Mario is such a better is such a, a much stronger IP than Sonic in general. But I, I really really like Adventure.
let's go. Oh, oops, what the hell was that? Yeah, I think this is the last Beeper Beeper fight of the, of the game. And, like, I don't know why you fight this thing three times! What about this boss was so interesting that they decided to reuse it this many times? Like, PD Piranha is at least, like, you know, his movement, his uh, move pool, like, changes. It evolves, like he's in a more open area. Like he attacks the city, that's awesome. But like Cooper Rupert just kinda sits here like a dumbass. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played this game since it um it came out on 3D All-Stars for a reason. I uh I just don't think it's spectacular. I don't think it's spectacular. Mario's awesome. Bonk. <laughs> yep. I don't understand why falling down this hole doesn't hurt you at all. It's such a big drop. Never understood that. I, I really like this course. I like it how, how it has its own little story, too. <laughs> really? This is so goofy, but I kind of love it. Yeah, I wish they did more with this idea of deep sea diving. Like, this is kind of this is kind of what I'm talking about when I when I say the game feels unfinished because like they introduced this concept and, of like going deep underwater, and you only do it a handful of times. It had so many great ideas in this game, and it just feels like it didn't come together very well. Again, this is why I think. Swing around with these fish. Oh, I hate that. There it is. Yeah, it's not the not the hardest level in the world. Is is four the one with the teeth and? Ugh. Uh, 
<sighs> okay. Yeah, every time it just zooms in on this, like, Noki Bay symbol, like you've never seen it before. It's so annoying. I love how the eel looks nothing like the eel from the last game. <laughs> it's like it's like they really wanted to double down on like making the eel even scarier, but they didn't quite manage it. And like, you actually have to get in this thing's mouth, too. what they were thinking when they came up with this plot line. Oops, hang on, I'm dying. That was close. Okay, four hours. This is probably one of the harder levels in Nuxi Bay. I can't think of anything else that I struggle with as much as this. I love how this is the moral. This is the best moral in any Mario game ever.
Uh, I think it's going to last a lot longer than next year. I think uh, the Switch is still going very strong. I think uh, the establishment is just getting concerned about the fact that, like, audiences aren't moving on to the next pieces of hardware like they're supposed to. And so they're trying to kill the Switch for that reason. Um, yeah, I, I expect, like, two years, at least. I think we would have heard about it already if it was coming this year, but... Yeah, I've, I've always maintained, like, 2027. That's when I would uh, expect to see new Switch hardware. Yeah, people need to shut the fuck up about, like, processing power and stuff like that. Nobody cares. Wait, where's Fantasmo? He's up here, right? Where the hell is he exactly? <laughs> I thought I saw him over here. This area is so big, I can't I remember exactly. Everything looks the same. I thought he was fairly high up here. There he is. This is not a hard raise. But... Like, they couldn't have made a more interesting race. Like, I would have met... Like, imagine going up the cliff. That makes more sense to me. I don't understand what they were thinking when they came up with this race, because if you're jumping on the platform, you can, you're going to, like, destroy him. Now, where even is he? Like, he goes out of his way to not take the quickest route. Like, this is... This race is a joke. Yeah, this is a Mario character that nobody... Nobody wants to see come back. <laughs> nobody is a fan of Tube and Tassima. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the complaints about Switch are genuine. I, I've never thought they were. Just like I don't think the complaints about Wii U are genuine. Like it's coming from people who don't play video games. I, or at least not modern games. I, I, I don't know. I, I think like I've been watching a lot of Stuttering Craig, and I'm sure he doesn't like. He never actually played the Wii U, but at the same time, like you know, he's still playing classic games and stuff like that. I. I don't know. I, I feel, like, very strongly about how, like, people talk all this shit about, like, hardware that they don't know anything about, really. And I think, like, Nintendo has always been, like, uh, a victim of that. I don't think people realize that, like, this is what game journalists do, is that they try to manipulate you into thinking that things are going to happen when they don't. Like, that's one of the things I've heard, is that, like, uh, Zelda, Zelda was delayed because of Elden Ring, which is obviously a load of crap, but... Because this holiday season was loaded for Switch. Like, why would they delay it for Elden Ring? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like these are these are the levels that really inspired Super Mario Galaxy because these really do feel like straight up Galaxy stages. And it, honestly, it feels like Galaxy is basically just a collection of these kind of stages, it's just condensed into a single game. No wonder Galaxy was so beloved. Yeah, I complain about this game a lot, but like, honestly, it's really not that bad. Fuck! <sighs> There's so many times where you just go out of control, though. Okay, let's see if we can beat it. Switch to pass the PS2 numbers. I don't think uh, people are ever going to admit that the Switch is outsold the PS2. I think there's going to like be some kind of like excuse for it. Like one of the things I'm hearing now is that like oh well there are just more people in the world, so you have to like <laughs> you have to like calculate it per capita or something, which is just straight up ridiculous. But. I, uh, I don't know, I, I hated the PS2, so I, I'll be glad to see it, like, finally get shafted. Because that's been, like, Sony's, like, claim to, claim, claim to fame for a long time. Is that, like, oh, we sold the, the most popular console of all time. Like, while conveniently not telling people that they include, like, units repaired as uh, units sold. And that, like, there are a lot of people that they, uh, they were selling PS2s cheaper than DVD players. Like, early on in its lifespan. Stuff like that, you know? Like, I don't think those multimedia features are why people get, uh, buy consoles these days. So, I think people are buying PlayStations these days purely out of, like, brand loyalty. And I don't think it's going to last forever. I think it's on the, uh, it's dying throws now. Like, I thought it was dying in the PS4 days, but, like, now I'm seeing people buying PS5s and, like, not even being able to tell you why they bought it, you know? Like, I think another generation like this and PlayStations is going to be dead. Like, there, there won't be a recovery. Like, uh, Dead Space is coming out on the 20th. I guarantee you that, like, Fire of the Bend Gage is going to stop it. And, like, Dead Space was one of the most heavily shilled IPs of, uh, like, the PS3 era. Like, that was one of those games that everyone said was, like, one of the best ever. When, uh, it wasn't. Anyone who says Dead Space was, like, the best anything is, like, full of shit. It wasn't a good horror game. It wasn't a good Resident Evil 4 clone. Fuck! I am, uh, I am really looking forward to, like, the Dead Space remake not doing well. I was already, like, excited at the fact that, like, Callisto Protocol bombed so hard after, like, there were so many people, like, putting it as, like, the, the most anticipated game of the year or something. Like, I think, like, all three members of uh, Angry Joe's team said said it was their favorite game, uh, most excited, the most, uh, the game they were looking forward to the most in 2022, and then it ended up bombing. And, like, when does that ever happen to a Nintendo fan? Like, does, has, has anyone ever, like, experienced that? Where, like, a game you were looking forward to the most turned out to be, like, complete trash? Like, I... The only time that's happened to me ever is probably Fire Emblem Fates and maybe Twilight Princess. And in Twilight Princess's case, like, Twilight Princess is legitimately good. The issue with it was mostly just, you know, expecting it to be, like, a Breath of the Wild style, you know, revolutionary title uh, which was kind of unfair to the game, honestly. Uh, you know, and, and I kind of understood that at the time. You know, I defended, uh, I've always defended Twilight Princess for what it is. What the hell? How do I get up there? Is 
honest? Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, anyway. But yeah, Fire Emblem Fates was like garbage. And like I'll acknowledge this garbage. And like everyone calls it garbage. And and what happened? They uh, the developers actually fixed the problems with three houses, for the most part. Um like there was a swift and immediate like uh, correction of like everything that went wrong with fates. And like a part of it was like circumstantial, like uh, you know, they, they hired an outside writer who was garbage, um, who was a who was a hack. Um, you know, they had to like follow up on Awakening. That guy talks shit about like Awakening story, by the way. Like there's a there's an Iwata ask interview where like he he specifically shits on it for being cliche, and I'm just like, it, it's one of the best strategy RPGs ever made. Fuck off. <laughs> like, like, I mean, better than like. Imagine writing Fire Emblem Fates and then like saying that Awakening was cliche. I I don't know exactly if like nobody really talks about that guy anymore because yeah, fuck him. I don't remember. I don't remember. He's a mangaka, and I don't remember what he worked on. Uh, I'll have to look it up and see, and like kind of talk about that. But uh, basically, he's like some well, uh, fairly famous mangaka who worked on it. And I don't know; it was just a disaster. Uh, I think I think he's a big reason why Fates failed, and uh, nobody wants to really talk about that. I mean, the other reason was like you know there are lots of reasons Fates failed. It was like. It was such a, it was such a mess from, like, uh, the get-go, honestly, I, I think. <sighs> yeah, same here. Like, has anyone else noticed that, like, people stopped talking about sales the instant that, like, Switch started, like, stomping the PlayStation? Like, that was, uh, that's funny. And that, that's the main reason I want, like, Nintendo to dominate, too. So, like, we can stop talking about sales. Like, it's the only reason I bring up sales at all is, like, is just talking about, like, fanboys and just how ridiculous they are. Um, like, generally speaking, I don't really care. But, like, when you have people saying that, like, Elden Ring is one of the best-selling games of all time, like, yeah, of course you, you have to dispute that because it, it's just not true. Is it ever going to outsell Minecraft or GTA 5? No, it's not. And honestly, like, I think best-selling game ever is kind of uh, disingenuous at this point. Because Super Mario Bros. Uh, officially only sold, like, you know, because it's such an old game. Like, the official NES metric is, like, uh, what, 8 million units or something? Because the market was smaller back then. But now it's, like, uh, you know, it's been re-released dozens of times. You know, I own, like, three different versions. I, I own, like, several different versions of that game. There's no way it's not technically in, like, the hundreds of millions. It's just... It's just nobody really... Um, that's not just how we measure shit. Sales. And it really doesn't matter. I think Nintendo games are significantly bigger than you would expect. Because, like, people are buying them used. People are, like... Uh, playing them for the first time on NSO. People are, like, you know... Like, letting them... Letting their friends borrow it. Borrow them, right? Like, it's not... Sales don't really indicate, like... Not only does it not indicate uh, quality, it doesn't indicate popularity. And I think the PS2 versus GameCube is a really good example of that. Because we've seen, like, YouTubers like Scott the Waz kind of, like, downplaying just how, like, um, people have fond memories of the GameCube. Oh, the GameCube wasn't that special. Look at, look at these sales. The PS2 stomped it. But, like, that doesn't change the fact that, like, people remember quite a few GameCube games a lot more than PS2 ones. Like, other than, like, a handful of, like, really big PS2 games that really should have been on GameCube anyway, stuff like Silent Hill, stuff like Kingdom Hearts, stuff like, uh, Stuff like uh, San Andreas, like, King PS2 had nothing on GameCube. Like, there was nothing that the PS2 did that the GameCube didn't do better. And especially the Xbox didn't do better. Hmm. 
Alright, we're done with Noki Bay. Oh, well, we will be after we catch that tomorrow. It's just me to like, Shadow Mario stages get harder the further you get into the game. community yeah i uh, i wonder the same thing actually is that like i i imagine like the backlash towards wind waker was fake as fuck you know just, just like the, how the backlash towards Win, uh, wii u was fake as fuck right um i imagine that hang on do i, do I need like yoshi to no it's open. okay i imagine that like I imagine game journalists, since the very beginning, have been, like, hyping up place, everything PlayStation did while, like, downplaying the competition, you know? Uh, like, there, there's, like, very clear evidence of this. Like, I've talked to Sega fans who felt this way, too, that, like, uh, journos were, like, downplaying big, innovative Dreamcast games uh, while praising PlayStation stuff. You know, like, there, there was an example of, like, some, some PlayStation magazine giving uh, Code Veronica, like, a poor score because of the Dreamcast exclusive. And then, like, the same guy gives the, gives the, gives the game a much higher score when it gets ported to PS2. It's, it's, uh, interesting uh, seeing this happen. I don't know exactly what these things are. Are they? Ch They're chain chomps, right? But why are they shaped this way? Is it just because of the collar? Like, I don't understand why they're wearing these shitty, like, spice colors. Like, are these, like... <sighs> I've heard, like, chain chomps are, like, based off of, uh... Some dog that almost attacked Miyamoto when he was a kid, but <laughs> I don't know. They always wear spike collars. I don't. I always like really like. Uh, I've always really liked Miyamoto's creativity because like all these enemies are just so. They all come off so natural, even though they're so completely ridiculous. Chain Chomps have never been my favorite Mario enemy, but I've always liked Koopa Troopers. But... listen to, like, uh, Harry Potter Deathly Hallows on Audible before I play Hogwarts Legacy. I listened to um, Half-Life Prince some time ago, but I wanted to, like, listen to some other fantasy books before I, I got into it. I, um, after doing that, you really do get, like, an appreciation for how good Harry Potter actually is because, like, I've read, like, a lot of other mainstream fantasy, and I don't think anything is as good as Harry Potter, really. Um, Lord of the Rings is completely different, so... I, I don't like comparing Harry Potter to Lord of the Rings, because I, I feel like they're very different in style and tone, what they're trying to get across. Yeah, why are they on fire? Are they just sick or... What is with all these life, life lessons? Yeah, good night.
Right now, I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine, and boy, does it hold up really well. I love this game, I love Nintendo, I love GameCube, and I cannot wait to keep playing this game all night long. Okay, here we go. Right now, Hey, where's Fantasma? Is he just at the base of the tree or there he is? How this guy ever thinks, ever thought he would ever win. Despite what I said in my YouTube short, I hate this game. Alright. Um, yeah, we're very close to beating this. I, um... Hmm. Yeah, I think we can beat this tonight, honestly. I think I should beat this tonight, and then just move on to Super Mario. Eh. Yeah, I think we're gonna play some Galaxy Edge of this after we beat it. I don't, yeah, I just don't, I think next time I play the game, I'll probably just try to, like, 100% it or something. I don't know, the game is just kind of, hmm. Yeah, the game isn't great. I, it, it, it's just nowhere near on the level as, like, other, Mar most other Mario games. Yeah, the game isn't great, but you get, like, really good inspired levels like this one. Yeah, I just saw a video about this, and I kind of want to try, try out this method.
How do I get up there? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's not the way you're supposed to beat the stage, but there is several different ways you can do it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some of like the more fun um, bonus stars before before um, moving on to Galaxy. I'm not even sure I want to play Galaxy tonight. I, I think I might wait till next weekend. Yeah, too many of these stages are too are rehashes of, of things we've already done. Like, oh, it's the th it's the same one as the first mission, but the chain shop is bigger this time. Like, I guess it's just hot out. the bathhouse is back here, right? Eggs a little bit more. Come on, come on. Let's see.
Oh no, Mario, no! <sighs> oh, you can't. What are you talking about? This is a Nintendo game. It's not available on Xbox. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, is this the one where you have to like just get Yoshi and then... Okay, I think it is. Hang on. I don't get why leaving the area just ticks you out like that. It's just... I didn't die, I just left. Okay, banana. Banana. Oh, I think that's too big of a jump! I'm so used to, like, making crazy jumps with Yoshi that, like, I, I kind of, like, I kind of forget that, like, he doesn't, he can't jump indefinitely. Still, though, it's still pretty crazy what you can do with this game. Oh, no, I'm a Chuckster. Oh, man, I love these. I'm a Chuckster. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this stage so much, even if, like, you screw up. I'm a Chuckster. This has to be like one of the most infamous levels in the game, it's so ridiculous. Aim, fire. Wait, hang on. Yeah, this guy is like, has some distance on him, so you gotta be really careful. No, shit, no! Okay, like, the uncontrollableness of it all is what makes it fun, but at the same time, it's like, wow. How exactly does this work? I gotta see, like, speedrunning tips on this, because this is just absurd. I'm a chuckster. <laughs> do, do, 
No! I hit the barrier and I still... This game and its physics are just unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, it's, yeah. What's what's number six? Seven is like a Shadow Mario case, but what is the sixth stage of Penta Village? Yeah, I have to do these stages, too, because otherwise I'm just not going to beat the game. Uh, Thing. Is it a lime? Is it a melon? What, what, what is it? What the fuck is this thing? Yeah, it's some kind of tropical fruit anyway. So let's... spend all that time getting Yoshi, and Yoshi doesn't even get used in the actual stage. Actually, if I had Yoshi, I could probably make a lot of these jumps myself. Without being chucked. New Mario Kart? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready for a new Mario Kart. I mean, we're getting, like, new tracks right now, so... I think an announcement is imminent, like, after the, uh... The final... I was just about to say that, like, okay, it gets easier the further you go along, but, okay. Yeah, this stage is just, ugh. I don't know if, like, everyone hates it, but, oops. Yeah, you control your mo your movement somewhat with the control sticks, so you gotta watch out for that. I'm a truckster. I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with this, but... Made it. there. Just gotta angle myself properly. Stop here. Got him. Yeah, it's not that hard of a stage, but oof. It is... <laughs> getting, getting the hang of it takes a while.
Okay, what's stage six? What's stage six? Stage six. So you just find pintas in the ooze and then you just get them out, huh? Where's the last one? Okay, why is the, why did the water go dry? Where's the last one? I don't see them. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh... This guy was just hiding. All right. Stupid.
Wait a minute. Since when did he have the ability to, like, leave that trail of goop? He gets, like, all these new abilities and powers, and seems to have better AI, but as long as, like, the terrain isn't all that complicated, it's easy enough to just chase after him and shoot him down. Alright. 50, 50 shines. Wow. This might be the lowest I've ever beaten the game at. Um, there we go. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised they, uh, they put so much work into, like, flooding Delfino on it. <laughs> flooding the city when, like, it doesn't really do anything. Oof. A tidal wave came from the sky. All right, let's go. Final level. Corona Mountain. Wow, last time I played this was in 2020, come to think of it. Corona Mountain. This is like the most boring final level in any Mario game ever. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, in general, like, I think everything after Noki Bay is just not very good. Like, Pina Village is just so is so unmemorable. I don't know why you would ever... Eh. I don't know. Like, I think all the best stars are actually in Delfino Plaza, to be completely bluntly honest with you. Are they supposed to kill you in, like, a single hit? I don't remember that happening. not get the timing down. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the final boss anyway, so maybe I should just skip it and not actually beat it. Ugh. Nah, I've put this much effort into it. I probably should at least beat it. <sighs> I can't wait to go through Sunshine. Sunshine is so much better than this. Uh, I mean, Galaxy is so much better than this. I wouldn't mind replaying Odyssey as well, but Odyssey... Odyssey has the problem of, like, it not having multiple files. And plus, I never 100% beat, beaten Odyssey anyway, so... I don't know, maybe I should just kind of not, uh, not finish Odyssey. Not, not, start, not start a new file on Odyssey. I, I haven't played, like, Breath of the Wild either. I mean, I imagine those games weren't made to be replayed, but... I suppose with a lot of newer games, like these giant RPGs, you can't really expect um, them to have a ton of replay value, because it's all, like, supposed to be this massive adventure. Wow, I've been really... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just not, not playing very well all of a sudden. Um... Really? It was up for like five seconds. Okay. Yeah, it's been so long since I played the stage. I think I'm just kind of rusty.
and the boat's actually under Oh wow, I don't even think like... <laughs> I don't even think in my typical playthrough, I uh, in this playthrough, I even use like a standard boat. So this is the first time I've used the boat at all. And like the physics for the boat is like the worst ever. It's, it's so bad. You have to like get through it in a single shot. Yeah, I think you do. <sighs> the boat is so much. Like the best thing to do is just like just go straight and like not not take any turns at all. Because like if you try to turn, you're gonna fuck up. And that, that's what happened there. Sure to be told. It was entirely just the boat. Like why is the boat there? Why is it able to take living being on lava of all things? It's made of wood. Like, shit, it would, like, burst into flames just by being here, I think. Because we are in a volcano. Alexa, how hot are van uh, volcanoes? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, volcanoes are extremely hot. Often they have liquid hot magma boiling inside. Wow, extremely hot. I never would have figured that out, Alexa. Thank you. Wait, they'll give you a precise temperature for how hot the sun is, but not a volcano. Like, really? This is why I hate Corona Mountain. It's so... Ugh. Lives in a volcano. Well, anyway, and what is that? I've never seen that before. Oh fuck! No. Okay. Yeah, this is the this is the last section that's by far the easiest. Like if you screw up here, it's really not a big deal. Okay. 
So wait, I fall so far. <sighs> I hate that shit. I hate that shit so much. Like, I was going to, to recover. Like, What is it with these sprinklers firing off into the lake? That doesn't make any sense. so hard as a kid. I can't believe. This is what they came up with for the final boss, really. Bowser in a hot tub. It's like a joke. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with this. And like, it's not even a good fight. It's so unmemorable. Like, Galaxy has like some semblance of, like, verdosity, but this, uh, not really. Yeah, here's all Bowser would have to do to win this fight don't have your giant hot tub floating in the sky. I don't know why, like, Flood is stuttering. Is he, like, intimidated by Bowser? Oh, here he goes. Okay. I hate this final boss. You know, like, I... <sighs> what a disappointing final encounter. Like, it's so trivial. Like, what a... They really needed to, like, think this one better. Think this one out better. That was just... Ugh. So underwhelming. Well, at least I'd be sunshine.
Oh no, an ABC producer has died. Oh. Surprisingly wholesome ending. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with that ending, but it kind of works. It's kind of charming. Taru Iwata, yes! He wasn't in charge of Nintendo at this point, was he? Huh. I thought he didn't take the reins until 2004. It's interesting seeing his name in the credits for this. Super Mario Bros. Z guys should never, ever have rebooted the series. Like, it was never going to get finished to begin with, but... M. Night Shyamalan, look at this, like, stinger there, like, it actually, like, you're, it's actually going to mean something. Like, oh, does Pintasimo have the, the brush now? <sighs> They're never gonna make a sequel to that shit. What were they, where were they going with that? I never understood that. Alright, um... Okay, uh, I think I'm done, honestly. I, uh, not a not a fan of Sunshine in general. Uh, I'll probably come back and, like, go for some of those optional stars, but, yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna take a break. Not a, not a fan of Sunshine at all. Yeah, this game is this game is uh fifteen years old. Alright. I'll probably only just play this for a little bit. I think I want to play, like, The Great Ace Attorney or something like that. Yeah, Galaxy is so much better than Sunshine. It's not even funny. 
Okay. Like I've, uh, I wonder if I said it like the galaxy a couple of times as opposed to several times as opposed to like, sunshine's like once. Like sunshine is just so boring. The wonder percent, honestly. Yes. The yeah, game has like way better power ups than like Sunshine does. Like it actually has real Mario power ups that are actually like feel like they belong in a game. You know, like the fucking B is like awesome. It's so simple, but it works. Being able to walk on flowers is pretty awesome. I, you can't walk on honey, right? Yeah, not really, but you can fly, so it doesn't matter. Da, 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 da. Like I said, like, the best parts of Sunshine are basically those, um, those platforming levels. And, and these are, this is an entire game of that. They made the absolute right call here, I think. Oops. Oh, that's right. The... Should I play some more Mario Party 2? I kind of... Nah. I'll do that next stream. I'll, I'll do that some other time. Uh, yeah. You think it's possible we could get Mario Party 3 this weekend? Uh, next weekend? Yeah, maybe the weekend after that. It's been a while since we got some NSO updates in general. The last time we updated, it got it gave us like the Sega Genesis <laughs> updates. I want some new Super Nintendo games personally, like some good new ones. Yeah. So what's missing? Uh, hmm, I think Dread. Well, Dread was never came out over here. But I, I think that would be one that I would want. Like, just, just do what they did with Fire Emblem and just re-release re it. Well, to be fair, we're getting, like, Dragon Quest three HD, so that, that might be what they want to do, is just re-release it. Akago's Caper's on there already. Yeah, what would I want that's not already on there? I'll have to, like, check my, uh, my list. position. I don't know who came up with this, but, uh, that feels good. Ugh. It's almost like bursting with ideas. Like, ugh. It's been a while since we've seen Captain Toad. No, no, he was in uh, Odyssey, wasn't he? But that was in, like, 2017. It's been, like, six years since Odyssey. Holy crap.
I was always angry at like how this game. The thing I hate about Luigi, the thing I hate about Luigi mode in this game, is that the game really acts like instead of like Mario Mario playing Luigi's role, like it does this weird thing where like there are two Luigis and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so where is Mario? That doesn't make any sense in this in this situation. Where, where is he? We're all in this together. Oh yes, I love Captain Toad. I'm, I'm always happy seeing these guys in stages. They're so much fun. Okay. Yeah, the older I get, the more I appreciate this game. I, I really do. Like, if I'm falling out of love with Sunshine, uh, when I originally really liked it, uh, I think I'm liking this game more and more. Windmill. Okay, yeah, I forgot you had to press the switch. Okay. It's not really a windmill, but it's shaped like one. Okay. I was kind of confused for a second, like, what, what am I supposed to do? Alright. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna, like, call it quits for the night and maybe. Maybe read a little bit. Stomping on them. Hang on, that's what I was supposed to do, right?
<sighs> yeah, is there anything else I want to play? Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll probably like play a little bit before I go to bed, but it'll probably be PS3, honestly. Um, play some Sly Cooper. Yeah, I'll probably what I what I'll be playing like off stream this week. I really need to get back onto the great back into the greatest attorney. Ah, uh, but yeah. Maybe after I finish my run of Galaxy. <laughs> it's like, why would I not want to play Galaxy, honestly? Okay, that's not working. Yeah, before Fire Emblem Engage comes out, I probably should focus on, um... Okay. Yeah, I'm still pretty early on in the game. I feel, like, reluctant to, to stop. I have never played this game so little. Like, usually I'm, I'll at least get, like, 10 or 15 stars before I quit the first time. Like, it's, it's not that hard to, uh, to get past the first dome. Oh, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm ready to call it quits. Are causing trouble. Oh. Yeah, as much as I, I generally think this game is like one of the best ever at what it does, um, it's a lot like Woolly World in the sense where like the bosses aren't great. And at the very least, like I think Woolly World, um, Woolly World's bosses are like offensively bad. At, at the very least, like the bosses here, you know, they have fun designs. They're like, they have like, they take it full advantage of your move set. Like, you know, they're not as bad, even though they are terribly easy. Oops. I mean, if this was Woolly World, I would have killed him already, but... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna listen to the God of Us in stream. Uh... Damn. I hate messing up. Alright. I think I think I'm ready to work on Jaw of the Dragon. I'll probably put in like the Godfather or something, which I keep doing for some reason. I... This is the longest I think I've ever fought this boss in my life. Come on, Luigi! It's not that hard of a boss.
Got him. Yeah, here. And to think I was complaining about how the bosses in this game are easy. To be fair, though, <laughs> I didn't lose against it or anything, but for some reason I just could not get off a good, a good shot. Ugh. Well, I know what the reason was. I'm tired. But. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. Um. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in to Black Cat Show. Be sure to check out my books at blackcatbooks.org. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.